There are two different kinds of local worksheets that you're going to run into depending on what the settings of your uh, database are. Uh, back in the very beginning when we were creating uh, files, we noted that there is an implicit LOPA and an explicit LOPA. And out in industry, it's really very well distributed. A lot of companies use implicit, a lot of companies use explicit. Now, the primary differentiation between the two is that explicit actually uses the numerical calculation of frequency uh, by putting frequencies on initiating events, probabilities of failure on protection layers, and it then calculates the frequency of unwanted events and compares that frequency against a frequency that's tolerable. That's why it's called explicit, because the risk tolerance criteria explicitly give a numerical value. So the worksheet that we're looking at right here is an explicit LOPA. And in an explicit LOPA, um, you're going to uh, have, again, you'll, you'll start out with your consequence. And in this case, I am consequence indexing. Uh, but you can do a cause indexed uh, LOPA that's explicit or implicit. And you can do a consequence index LOPA that's implicit or explicit. So uh, we're just focusing on the explicit nature of this. So if you look, um, there are going to be causes and the causes are all going to have frequencies associated with them. So that's going to be a, uh, a numerical value for frequency. Uh, you may also have conditional modifiers. I'm only showing a conditional modifier for safety, uh, but other types of conditional modifiers for the other dimensions of consequence are also available. Uh, in this case, we had probability of ignition with a probability of 1.0, again, using numerical values. Values. Um, we then have multiple independent protection layers or possibility of multiple independent protection layers per cause and the effectiveness of those individual uh, protection layers is going to be shown in terms of a probability of failure on demand, a PFD. Uh, so in this case our relief valve has a PFD of 0.01 assigned to it and our a safety instrumented function, UZC-101A, has been assigned a probability of failure on demand of 0.1. So with those numbers on a cause-by-cause -cause basis, you can then calculate uh, the frequency of the event after it has been mitigated by the safeguards. <clears throat> So uh, it's a simple matter of multiplication. 0.1 times 0.01 times 0.1 is going to give me an MEL, or mitigated event likelihood, of 1 times 10 to the minus 4. And that gets compared against your TMEL, or your target mitigated event likelihood. Uh, and you can use that to calculate a um, LOPA ratio. Uh, or a risk reduction factor, which are going to be inverses of each other. So how much, how many times does risk need to be reduced? Uh, ultimately, you're trying to get your uh, risk required risk reduction factor to make risk tolerable down to one. Uh, if it's 10, you need one order of magnitude of risk reduction. If it's 100, you need two, and so on. So uh, if, for instance, I didn't know what the uh, performance capabilities of this safety instrument function were, and I said its probability of failure is 1.0, it would then tell me that the required risk reduction factor is 10 or the LOPA ratio is 0.1. So I didn't achieve tolerable risk without the safety instrument function. And then obviously I would go in and manipulate the PFD assignment for that safety function until my tolerable risk number of 1 is achieved. So that's how the uh, explicit version of LOPA works. And again, uh, there are a lot of things that you can add and subtract out of this uh, worksheet. So there are multiple different conditional modifiers. Uh, right now, we're only looking at the target maximum event likelihood and uh, consequence in terms of safety, but we can add in the full five dimensions of risk. So there's a lot of customization that you can do on this form. And again, you do that by going over to study data, uh, clicking on the cause column visibility, 
and then we could go uh, under consequences and we can add in all kinds of things like before safeguards, after safeguards, a full range of conditional modifiers which will calculate a full range of TMELs and so on. So a lot of flexibility possible.